what's up you guys thank you for tuning in to another video so in today's video as you can tell by the title we are just playing with some drugstore products um these are obviously some things that i maybe have used once if if any um and i just kind of wanted to shed some light to them i feel like i have been so caught up on all of my high-end makeup obviously from the sephora sale so just been trying to use some of those things and there are more goodies on the way because there is a new launch almost every week sometimes two to three every week so um stay tuned for some more videos of testing new makeup products but i am really feeling this blue on the lid the eyeshadow look turned out a little bit more sultry than what i wanted but i am totally fine with it this was very easy to achieve the only thing that i will say in this video that i did not i'm really trying to like these products um it is the city color be bold color liners but the brush tip on them is a little bit too flimsy so it's kind of hard to like be very precise like you would definitely need an actual like um, eyeliner uh, type of brush in order to use these but other than that that is it for today's video don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and also happy birthday well belated birthday to me I did not film on my birthday my birthday was May 1st so again shout out to all my Tauruses but um, I turned 31 on Sunday so yeah you know really didn't do much but anywho guys let's go ahead and jump into today's look bye all right you guys so eyes are prime with the Juvia's Place I prep I prime in the shade number two I decided to go with the Olori 3 palette it was between these two these are both by Juvia's Place but I really was feeling that light blue shimmer shade in this palette. So I decided to go with that one for today's look and just keep it very simple. I went ahead and popped my e.l.f. eye tapes on. And there are no names on the shades in these palettes, so I am definitely going to point at every shade I use throughout today's video as well. Um, and don't mind me, I was watching, you would not believe it, but yes, I was watching Despicable Me 2. Um, having kids will do that to you. I find myself watching stuff all the time and it's like they're not even around, but um, yeah. <laughs> All right, who would I be if I did not use this beautiful, it's like a brick brown, so it's like reddish brown, but who would I be if I did not deepen up that outer corner, of course. Um, I know this is a lot of everybody's signature move, so um, I'm just pretty much taking that again, deepening up the outer crease, and then I am going to go back in with that peachy shade we laid in the crease, just to try to kind of help, you know, clean that up just a little bit. Now we are taking the NYX glitter glue. So this is definitely, it's not very, very sticky, but it is a nice tacky base. 
to apply shimmer or glitter shades and I used it mainly for this blue shimmer shade. I really wanted to play with this one today. That is what drew me to this palette. But I feel like it helped the shimmer shade adhere to it a lot better than, you know, what it would have done if I didn't use anything. And also, um, I did not have to spray the brush, which either way is fine. But I love how this color picked up just by using that NYX glitter glue. All right, so for primer, we are going in with the Heart Candy. This is the Hydra Grip Primer. So this is obviously another dupe to the, um, what is it, the Milk Hydro Grip. Um, as you can see, the same color. And I think this one is no more than $5 at Walmart. So it is a really good dupe. I have never had any issues with this primer in particular. I've used it quite a few times. I just noticed that I don't use it much on camera, but it is a really nice gripping primer for a lot less than a lot of the other ones that we're seeing. And then of course in my T-zone, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. As you can see, I, you know, I have been using this up. This one and the matte putty primer are definitely my go-tos for my T-zone. I do have some other new favorites, but they are high-end, but drugstore in particular, these are the best ones hands down to me to kind of, you know, minimize the appearance of the pores and all of that good stuff. Also, you guys, I tried to go in with the City Color Liner. I don't like the brush tip that is on these. Um, they're definitely a lot, just a little bit too flimsy and it's hard to work with. So you do need an eyeliner brush for that. Now going in with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, this is something that I have not used in quite a while. This one is in the shade 330W, which is also the same shade that I do have their powder foundation, uh, the Camo CC Powder Foundation that was just released this year as well. And I'm just going to take that on a sponge and go ahead and apply that all over the face. So now for cream bronzer, we are going in with the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Bronzed Bell. I honestly had to spray the inside of this in order to pick up any pigmentation. I, I, I do feel that, what am I stuttering for? I do feel that mine is dried out. So um, yeah, might have to go ahead and get rid of this one. But I'm just kind of obviously running that all over the face where you would put your bronzer, of course. Um, I do feel like, I don't know, is it just me 
but I'm feeling like do it look like I got a little tan or something like that because my 330W Camo CC is looking a little light. Now I do have shade 355W but that is a little bit too deep so using this I might have to mix both. Um, and then for blush today we are going in with the Morphe Blush Balm. This is their Soft Focus Cream Blush in Audacious Apricot. So definitely right up my alley for the color. Um, I couldn't find any other drugstore cream bronzers that I had that are products that you could kind of get your hands on in store right away. But this one definitely, and I don't think it was more than maybe $10 or $12. All right, for concealer, we're going in with the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum in the shade golden so i am going to use a small concealer brush and just kind of pack that onto obviously under the eye where i will put concealer and then i will be blending that out with the i believe it's the crayon case 9 a.m brush so that brush looks a lot similar to the um real techniques setting brush coverage so I ended up going with the elf hydrating camo concealer in the shade light sand um, just to add a little bit more brightness and like I said coverage this one um, I feel like when they came out with their hydrating line it was hard for me to find my exact shade in this one because I was a different color in the regular camo CC concealer so um, I also do feel like it's time for me to pick up a new one because using this one in today's video, I did not like the initial smell of it. I don't know if that is how it's supposed to smell or if that's just from me not using it, but I'm definitely going to toss it um, today and go pick up a new one to replace it. For loose setting powder, we're going in with the LA Girl Instant Finish Blurring Loose Powder. I do have mine in the shade light. So this is a powder that I used once. I tried it on testing new makeup not too long ago. And I'm just going to take that with my Amazon Powder Puff and set the face with that. Um, it's a nice powder. I don't, you know, I did not take a flash test to see if there was any flashback or anything. It is smoothing. Um, and it's a good drugstore option, but it's not 100% like something that I'll say is my fave. But I definitely wanted to use it because the other drugstore powder I had was the Maybelline Banana Powder. And I don't think I was the biggest fan of that one. So I decided to just go with this one for today. Now for all over face powder, we're going in with the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. This uh, says vegan collagen, tea tree, and vitamin E. You can find this at Ulta. Now, um, again, when I reviewed this powder, there is not a large shade range at all. So that is the one thing that I will say I am not the happiest about when it comes to this powder. This is also definitely just something that is sitting and I kind of wanted to use it just to hopefully use it up. <laughs> I won't say that this is a repurchase at all. Now for bronzer, one of my all time favorite bronzers from the drugstore is this Juvia's Place Bronzer Duo in the shade Medium. So I did end up picking up Medium because at the time I felt like the shade Tan was a little bit too warm for me, um, especially in the winter months. But this is a very smooth, buttery formula. I am in love with this bronzer. And honestly, this was like my everyday jam for a while when it first launched. So 
I definitely say if you still are on the fence, if you still have not tried this, definitely go to your local Ulta and pick it up and give it a shot. Now for blush today, we are going in with the Milani Baked Powder Blush in the shade Luminoso. This is obviously a staple color from Milani. Um, very pigmented, very beautiful. I just wanted something peachy pink to kind of go with that apricot uh, cream blush that we used from Morphe. All right, you guys, for the highlighter, we're going in with the Essence Pure Nude Sunlighter in the shade Be My Sunlight. This is number 40. I don't think that I've seen this one inside of Ulta. I did pitch, pick this one up online on Ulta's website. And then for setting powder, uh, not setting powder, setting spray, I went in with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I did that first before I applied my highlighter just so that it could be a little bit more beaming and pigmented and not look dry going over all of those powders that we placed down. So um, again, a really good setting spray, very good alternative to a lot of the high-end ones that we use on a daily. Um, I have not tried to do a wear test with this setting spray, surprisingly, to see how long it lasts. Now for the lower lash line i did go in with the powder blue auto eyeliner this is the la girl pastel dream eyeliner and i'm just taking that and running that on the lower lash line well on my water line <laughs> and then going back into that eyeshadow palette i did go ahead and take that brown that we used on the outer corner and i just took like this very flat um eyeshadow brush and just kind of ran that under that light blue I didn't want to do too much on the lower lash line, so I just kept it very, very simple. And I will apply my mascara off camera. The mascara that I used is the Essence Mascara. It's in like the, I think it's like the purple one. Obviously, all of their packaging is black for the most part, but it is the purple one that I use for mascara today. Okay guys, real quick for lashes, I believe these were recommended by Juicy Jazz. Um, I did go ahead and use the So Wispy uh, Lashes by Kiss in the style number 11. I think these are the pompadour lashes that she talks about. Um, again, that is Juicy Jazz. I will have her channel linked down below. I love her YouTube channel. Um, but I wanted to try these out today to see you know, how easy they would work for me. Um, and then as far as the inner corner highlight, I'm just taking that same Essence highlighter that I used on, you know, obviously my face, just to kind of add some type of brightness in that inner corner as well. For lip liner, we are going in with Chai Latte by LA Girl. This is their, um, I think this is the deepest brown lip liner that they have. And then for gloss today, I did go in with the NYX. This is Milky Gloss in Cherry Skimmed. And then also over top, I wanted to kind of brighten the lip up a little bit. Um, it didn't do much because these are not as pigmented to me, but I did go in with the NYX uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream from the shade Cairo on the center of the lips. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so very much for tuning in. 
I hope you all truly enjoyed today's video. Um, again, this is just using all drugstore makeup. So I feel like you could still create a beautiful, flawless makeup look application with drugstore makeup. It doesn't always have to cost so much money to get the same exact look. Um, and I was very happy to play with the Juvia's Place. It was it the Olori 3 palette. I was very happy to finally play with this one. Um, I purchased all three of them once they released and I honestly never even played with them, touched them, anything like that. So um, definitely let me know in the comments of some makeup products that you guys would like to see me test here on my channel. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to all of you beautiful people who are subscribed and who tune in with me on every video whether you leave a comment or even just like I genuinely truly do appreciate it so I thank you guys so much you all be safe stay blessed and I'll see you in my next one bye